Hospitality's daily devotional program. Stay tuned. On the road of self-discovery, as you journey from where you are to where you should be, capture the moments in between. Cherish the gift of a new day. Love every day with the Rhapsody of Reality's daily devotional in the year 2013. Every time I read it, it is my rhema word for the day, which is amazing because millions of people are reading it all over the world thinking the same. I just love it. Get the January edition of Rhapsody of Realities today. Call now to place your order or order online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. Welcome back to Rhapsody of Realities. And Pastor Chris is sharing with us the image of the heavenly. Mm. Everyone on earth was born after the first Adam, meaning that we have all born the image of the earthy. However, when a man is born again, mm. which is very exciting, he's cut off from the first Adam and born after Christ. Hallelujah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. We're born after Christ. So everything before we became born again is completely cut off. Exactly. Gone. You know, totally disappeared. Gone. It's so true. <laughs> and, you know, people think that because Adam sinned, that we're all sinners and that's it. But, you know, Pastor Chris is telling us right here that we're not. You know, there's something else. Christ came and changed the whole plate. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus because everything that ever, ever happened, and it's so important to remember that. Always remember and walk in the consciousness that once you're born again, everything, it doesn't matter what you did, what kind of lifestyle that you were living, it makes no difference. It's, it's not even remembered. As far as God is concerned, it never happened. Happen. That's good news. Mm, it really, really Hallelujah. is. Yeah. <laughs> and then Pastor Chris continues to say, he becomes a heavenly man wow. on earth. Wow, a heavenly man here on, on earth. earth. Mm -hmm. No wonder the Bible says that we are here on this earth, but we're not from it. Mm -hmm. We're actually not from here. You know, Pastor Chris is telling us that he becomes a heavenly man on, on earth. earth. Wow, so we are actually here on earth, but we're heavenly. We're heavenly. Yes. Wow. Wow, and Pastor Chris continues to say, and he's expecting. So he is expected to walk in this newness of life after the image of him that created him. Wow. What a great privilege. So you're basically, Pastor Chris is saying right here that we're expected to walk in this newness of life after the image of him that created him. Jesus Christ created us. Mm. So therefore, everything that Jesus did, we're able to do as well. Absolutely, yeah. You know, and the Bible instructs us on how to do that. It's our manual for living the life here on earth as heavenly. Heavenly means. Wow, that's, this is so amazing. You know, because that means that every single thing that Christ did, we're able to do. He preached the gospel. He healed the sick. You know, he... He brought something that's never been brought before. We're supposed to be doing these exact same things. Absolutely. Pastor Chris is saying that we are expected to walk in the newness of life. It's a completely new life. But how do you know how to walk in this new life, this great new life. It's not by hearing what everybody is saying. Not because, you know, the newspapers might say something, the TV shows might say something else, but what is the Word of God saying about this image of the heavenly? What is it saying about you, your new life in Christ? And that's where you start to walk in this life. Exactly. And that's why it's so important that we study our Bible because yes, that's how we yes. learn what our Creator did, you know, and then we're able to follow in his steps. Pastor Chris continues to say, notice the amplified rendering of 1 Corinthians 15 verse 49. The latter part says, let us also bear 
inferring therefore that it's our responsibility to bear the image of the heavenly. It's our responsibility. <laughs> Again, it's our responsibility. So it's not going to happen like magic. You know, the world thinks it's, things are magical. No, the word says we're doers of this word. We're doers, so we have the responsibility to bear the image of the heavenly. Exactly. You're responsible. Exactly. Everything that happens in your life, you're responsible for creating it, for creating it through this word, in this word in this of word. God. Exactly. You know, Pastor Chris is going to say it's a choice to bear the image yes. of the heavenly. It's a responsibility. Mm. You know, it's our responsibility to walk in the light. Hallelujah. Amen. Absolutely. And Pastor Chris continues to say, accept what God has said about you in his word. Mm -hmm. Accept it. Just, you know, you read it and you just believe it. You accept it. You walk in it. It's so easy. It's very, very easy. You're not trying to obey things anymore. You have this nature. You're able. You have the ability in you to just do it. Just do it. It's very, very simple. Just put it in action. Pastor continues to say, if he has said you're a new creation, accept, accept it. it and be bold to say the same about yourself and act accordingly. accordingly. Yes. Be bold to say the same about yourself. What are you saying about your say yourself? Mm. Are you saying, I'm too short? I'm too, I'm too tall? I don't you know? have enough what money? Am, yes. You know? I'm broke? Are you saying that? Does the Bible say that? Did God say that? If God didn't say it, then it's not true. It doesn't matter what you see. It doesn't matter what you go through. If God didn't say it, it's not true. That's the bottom line. Exactly. He has the last word in your finances, in your health, in everything concerning you. to you. Because you are His. You've been bought with a price. So you belong to Him and you're one with Him. It's a beautiful life that we live. In conclusion, Pastor Chris is saying, simply say yes, yes. to God's word today. Hallelujah. Isn't that beautiful? Simply say yes. yes just yes. Mm. You know, and Pastor Chris, this was such an enlightening topic today. But you know what? The only way to have the image of the heavenly is to be born again, uh, yes. to declare the Lord Jesus yes. Lord of your life. Yes. And if you haven't done so, after we come back from the break, we're going to lead you into the prayer of salvation and take the confession together. So stay tuned for more of God's word. Happy New Year! It's 2013. Get piloted by the Word with your favorite devotional, Rhapsody of Realities. Journey with us to Texas in the United States of America. We're coming all the way from Texas, the Lone Star State. Welcome once again to your favorite daily devotional program. As we explore the January edition of Rhapsody of Realities. The big responsibilities are given to those that are faithful. Where is pride and joy? That faith talks. It actually speaks. It calls out those things that be not as though they were. Stay tuned. Enjoy an awesome time studying God's Word with the world's number one daily devotional using the Rhapsody of Realities mobile application, available for your iPad, iPhone, Blackberry, and Android mobile devices. To use the mobile app, get on the App Store suitable for your mobile device, whether it's the iTunes Store, Blackberry App World, or the Android Market. Download the Rhapsody mobile app and then create an account. Log in with your new account and then make your purchase of the devotional by clicking on Store. Choose the edition of Rhapsody of Realities you want to buy and voila! You're ready for an awesome experience with God's Word. Now, don't forget the added features on the app. Your Bible study tool, the Rhapsody Web TV, you can share your testimonies on the app. You can also send in your prayer requests and so much more. It's a whole new world. So stay connected today. For more information, please call the number on the screen or send us an email to Rhapsody App Support at RhapsodyOfRealities.org. Welcome back to today's Rhapsody of Realities devotional, where we've been sharing on the image of the heavenly. 
Before the break, we talked about being born again, and that's the only way to bear the image of the heavenly. If you're not born again, please take this prayer and repeat after me. O oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And according to Romans 10 verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. I declare that I am saved. I am now born again. I am a child of God. I now have Christ dwelling in me. And greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I now walk in the consciousness of my new life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow, congratulations if you just took that prayer. You know, and if you have any more questions or comments about being born again, please feel free to give us a call or send us an email, and we'd be more than delighted to assist you in your new walk with Christ. In conclusion, we'll take the confession together of the image of the heavenly. Please repeat after me. I have the life and nature of Christ. I have the life and nature of Christ. The second Adam in my spirit. The second Adam in my spirit in my spirit i've put on the image of the heavenly i've put on the image of the heavenly and my affections are set on things above and my affections are set on things above being seated with christ in the heavenly realms being seated with christ in the heavenly realms far above all principality far above all principalities and power and might and dominion and power and might and dominion and every name in this world and every name in this world and in the world to come and in the world to come amen, amen. and if you like to do a further study you can go to colossians 3 verse 10 second corinthians 3 verse 18 and for a one-year Bible reading plan, you can go to Matthew 6, verse 1 through 18, Genesis chapters 18 through 19. For a two-year Bible reading plan, you can go to Matthew 4, verse 1 through 11, and Genesis chapter 7. Today's Rhapsody of Realities has been very enlightening. It's been a true teaching from our man of God, Pastor Chris. and. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to say thank you so much for joining us today. And if you took the prayer of salvation, congratulations on your new walk yes, with God. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much once again for joining us. And thank you, Pastor Chris and Pastor Anita, for this wonderful opportunity to bring to you all around the world the Rhapsody of Realities. Until next time, keep, keep reading, reading your Rhapsody, Rhapsody of Realities. realities. God, God bless, bless you. you. I love my rhapsody